I'm Luke Goodman, I'm the head coach of uh, the Southern District Rebels in the BR Cup. We played as Southern Sydney Sharks in the Jim Beam Cup last year and we wanted a better home ground so um, it's, it's an Australian first, we've moved in, there's a rugby union club here that they're existing and we've moved in, there's the rugby league clubs, a bit like the uh, London Harlequins in, uh, in um, the Super League in the UK, so where there's a league and union team playing under the same banner at a, at a top level. It's great, you know, we, we share players, you know, we've got kids that go back and play union and we, we swap players and, you know, we have training sessions together and swap ideas with the coaching staff and Chris Anderson is the coaching director for the league and union, so he's got a lot of um, input, so, yeah, like, it's we're in our infancy stage, but, you know, at the minute it's, it's you know, we've been successful. <laughs> The BR Cup, it's an open age competition. It's, it's probably um, a bit under the, the Queensland Cup. We're a third tier competition in the New South Wales Rugby League, although there is the Western Reds in Perth. So, yeah, we, like I said, it's an open age competition. We get players back, although the NYC is under 20s, we get guys back from the New South Wales Cup too, which is open aged. A lot of our players, a lot of, uh, you know, we've got a few Māori boys, um, a few Samoans and, and a few Kuru boys too. So we've got that special mix, you know, it's important to have, a, you know, a, we like to call it, you know, enough salt and pepper. When I was 16, I signed with the Roosters and then um, I signed a two-year deal with the Doggies, but I got a homesick, so I walked out on it. And this is my first year back in Sydney now. I grew up in the South Sydney area, so I've been playing there all my life. This is my first switch, so yeah. it's been all right. Just thought there was too many blokes in front of me and... They gave me a chance down here, so I took it with both hands. Luke Goodwin rang me in the off-season and said um, if I wanted to you know, have a chance to play football because I was just playing local comp and um, yeah, I came out and he gave me a crack. So, oh, mate, everything's a stepping stone, you know, it depends how good I am and uh, get, get myself fit, we'll see what happens. Here we train two nights a week, you know, they are semi-professional. As a coach, I love them to train every night, but, you know, they've got young families and, and they've got to work. They're all full-time workers, so not lucky enough, the, you know, not at that stage yet. I've got players at different stages of their career. I've got players that have still got ambitions to play up and players that are, you know, probably at the end that are just are still young and keen, but this is their level. Got to find that perfect mix and hopefully, you know, it's starting to, starting to happen. What we're doing on a, one day this year, we've picked a date, and I'm not sure the date, we're actually going to play um, the Rugby Union and the Rugby League on the same day, so they're going to, one's going to play first and then the other one will follow, so, you know, that's something that's sort of never been done before, and, um, you know, like, it's exciting, it's exciting for both supporters, so, you know, we, we get down and watch those guys, and, and those guys come and watch us, so, you know, they know each other because they've got a bit to do with them at training, so, you know, we're hoping, you know, to pack the joint out here, you know, it's, it's been dying a slow death here, and hopefully the Rugby League and you know, working with the union will bring some life back into the area and, you know, get a lot of good support. This is our third home game and the, the crowds, you know, the first week we had New South Wales Cup played with us, which they will during the year. And we got a bumper crowd for round one and the words are getting out in the shy that, hey, Southern Districts are not at Union, they're also a rugby league, uh, rugby league club and, you know, we have a lot of the A-grade guys who, who come down and support us too today. So, like they always say, you're winning, you pull the crowds, you pull the sponsors, everything just seems to happen for you.